and welcome back. I am Sambhav here. This is a fresh series on SAS state functions and this is going to be the first part of the SAS state functions where we are going to discuss few of the date functions. So let's get started. So in today's session we are going to talk about four very easy functions and very helpful. They are date, time, today and date time functions and we will do a small practical to understand them. These are really very easy. So in SAS date functions these are the list of functions which we will be studying. Date, today, time, date, time, date, part, date, jewel, day, week, month, quarter, year, mdy, week, nck, int nx, wire, dif and so on and so forth. So these are the list of functions which we will be discussing under the series of SAS date functions. And in today's session, as I told you, we will be talking about the four functions, which is date, today, time, and date time. Now, guys, these functions are pretty easy. Very easy. See, date function. Date function, basically, it is used to return today's date as a SAS date value. So, whatever is today's date uh, in your calendar, according to SAS date value, it will return that. And the syntax is also pretty easy. Date. Uh, uh, so variable name which is going to store the date and you can use the function date similar to, similarly today it returns the current date as a SAS date value basically today and date will give you the same result that's why I have specified that today is another name for the date function so you can use a variable name which will store the result and use a function today similarly time it returns the current time of the day variable name and time Date time, it returns the current date and time of the day. So it is variable name and the, uh, it's sorry, it's not data, it's date time. Date time. My mistake. So these are the four functions we are going to do. It is pretty easy. So let's do a practical to understand them. So let's say, for example, I'm creating a data set called as date function underscore example. And let's say date d1 is equal to so I'll use date which will basically returns today's date then we'll have another date 2 which will give you today so which is again so the value of d1 and d2 is going to remain the same because they are mostly going to do return the same value for you so that's why I said earlier also today is another form of date itself date date d3 let's use time function and find out what is the current time and d4 is equal to let's use both date and time uh, sorry so date time will return both date and time together run raw print data is equal to function underscore example and let's execute this piece of code to see the result all right, so we have got the result. Oh, well, so we are having some numbers. We were actually expecting date. So I have already discussed that in the previous video, uh, the formats. So if you have not gone through that, uh, please go through my in-format videos, how basically SAS treats the date values. So when we talk about date, it's basically count the number of days from 1st of Jan 1960 and so on and so forth. Now, since this is a little difficult for me to interpret the data, so what I will do is I will use a format statement so that I can print these results in my desired form. So I'll use a keyword format and then let's say for example day 1 and d2. Let it be in the form of ddmmyy10 dot and then let's say d3. Uh, d3 is time so time I can take it as uh, 8 dot I'll use the time 8 dot uh, format and then we have date and time so 10 plus 8 I have 18 because it will have both uh, sorry I forgot to specify the variable for that which is d4 so uh, I want I know that d1 and d2 will return the date so I have given a format ddmmyy so that it can print the result in my desired way similarly time so time will be in the form of uh, um, hour minute and second 
so six and then we will be using two colons to separate the hours and the minute and minute and the seconds so that's how it becomes eight and then we have the date time so we will be using the function date time 10 dot which will include both date and time so if you have not seen my uh, in format videos please go ahead and see that to have a better understanding of it so now let's re-execute the code and see the result what we're getting so you see we have got the date so it says 6th of february 2019 and date this is the result of date d2 is nothing but the result of today which is again the same so today is again 6th of february 2019 and d3 is nothing but the time see the time so d3 says 4 40 16 so it's four o'clock uh, in the morning 4 40 and 16 seconds and here d4 is nothing but your date and time so it is not giving me the right result let me check it out oh i have just specified 10 dot it should be 18 dot it was a mistake of the format i have used let me recorrect it and execute the code so now you will see yeah it is uh, 441 and 03 so this is the result for date and time so this is how date to date time and date time functions works in sas and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please let me know the list of topics you want me to discuss for you thank you so much for your time you have a wonderful day ahead